I received a lot of comments in my previous video about SAP Supply Chain Management asking what module to choose in SAP SEM. SAP Supply Chain Management is not just one application that you can learn, but it is a broad term. It is further divided into different categories and there are different types of SAP applications involved under those categories. Those categories are design, plan, procure, manufacture, sell, deliver, operate and project management. Let's take a new car manufacturing company as an example and see how these categories and SAP applications will fit in with their business model. In the design phase, the company can use S4HANA research and development application to design their new car. Once the car is designed, they can use SAP integrated business planning to plan all the logistics that are needed to start their car manufacturing process. Once the planning is complete, they can use applications like S4HANA procurement and SAP Ariba to procure the raw materials and manage the vendors that are required to manufacture the car. Then the actual manufacturing and assembling of the car happen. For this purpose, they can use SAP applications like S4HANA Manufacturing, S4HANA Manufacturing Execution and SAP Digital Manufacturing Cloud. Then comes the sales process. For that, they can use the S4HANA sales application. Then the cars that have been sold need to be delivered to either the showrooms or to the customers directly. This is one of the trickiest parts of the end-to-end -end supply chain management process. And for this purpose, the company can use SAP applications like SAP Extended Warehouse Management and SAP Transport Management. Mm -hmm. The car manufacturing company will have a lot of movable and immovable assets that must be managed along with the people that provide services for the types of machinery and equipment. For that purpose, they can use SAP applications like S4HANA Asset Management and Field Service Management. And finally, running a car factory and manufacturing cars is no easy job. It requires highly skilled project management managers and project management tools. For this purpose, they can use SAP applications like SAP Portfolio and Project Management, SAP Product Lifecycle Costing, SAP Commercial Project Management, and SAP Engineering Control Center. If you look at the SAP Training and Certification Center, you will see training courses categorized into these eight categories that I just talked about. Depending on your interest, you can enroll in any of these courses, take the exam and get certified. If you ask me which of these are in high demand, my personal opinion is that S4HANA Procurement, SAP Transport Management, SAP Extended Warehouse Management and SAP Supply Chain Planning are the highly in-demand areas. Thank you and I will talk to you in another video.